What's good, World Squad? It is your boy, Was coming at you with another Apex Legends video. Now, today's video, we will be talking about the patch notes. Yes, the freaking patch notes that I happily did not see um, yet because of the simple fact that I was at work. If you see in the background, I threw my uniform on the ground and said, F it, let's get into this video. So now, I do want to say this before we get into the juicy patch notes. Um, Yeah, follow me over on Twitch. I will be live streaming season six live tonight 10 p.m pacific standard time over on twitch so make sure you guys go follow me over, over there also i'm giving away a battle pass over there and i'm giving away a battle pass to a lucky person that comment on this video down below and don't forget hey man listen you must be subscribed and you must follow me on twitch go ahead do it right now actually no wait do it after the video but hey subscribe drop a like share the content with your friends if you like apex I'm guaranteed your friends like Apex as well. And um, yeah, without further ado, let's get right into this video. Let's see what these patch notes about, dude. Get out of here. They BSing. All right. We already know World Edge going to update. We're not getting a new map. I don't care. We already know about the sweet, beautiful. Mwah. 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 Oof. Ooh, we all know about her. But if you don't know, we're going to do a little quick, a real quick glance over. Passive modded loader. Ramper has increased magazine capacity and faster reloads when using LMGs and a minigun. Meaning. Wait, modded loader also increases the amount of shots before overheating curves and improves cooling when using L star. Wow. Interesting. Also, that means the Devo. She's gonna be nasty with it. Expect a lot of rampers and Devos. Tactical amp cover. Ramper builds a crouch cover wall, which deploys a full cover amp wall that blocks incoming shots and amp outgoing. And max of five amp walls can deploy at a time. Five? Five. It's only three people on the team. <laughs> My God. My God, Sheila. All right. Her ultimate in place minigun, Sheila. Ramper plays a mounted machine gun that anyone can use with high ammo capacity and long reload time. A mass of three miniguns can be deployed. What? what, what? For a parkid, the Apex card means more than just in <laughs> three? She can place three miniguns. Okay, okay. Camp Central. Campy Camp Central. All right, then we get the vault. Now, I did start a Titanfall 2 series, but I didn't finish it. But I did get to pick up the vault in Titanfall 2. And, man, I'm excited for this gun. I think this is what I'm most excited for, that and Rampart. But I say vault beat Rampart so far. Uh, come tonight at 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So make sure you guys go follow me over on Twitch. Yes, Twitch. I'm smiling, but I'm dead for I'm, I'm so, so I'm so serious. Go follow me on Twitch. Link in the description below. All right, we already went over the crafting series, um, the crafting system in the last post. Armor meta. With season six, introduce some big change to the way the armor works in the game. First off, all armor in the game is evil armor except gold. Okay, we went over there in the last one. Um, interesting. Um, what else it says? And they, oh, okay, so our arm. Wait, when you find a white, blue, or purple armor on the ground, it's pre-level evil arm. Wow, it can be picked up like normal and continue to be evolved. Red armor is not. And the ground loot and can only be achieved through evolving. Mm, I like this. I like this change. This is awesome. This is really awesome. I love it. Um, gold armor is not part of the evil armor track. And only okay, that's understandable. I can live with that. Uh, what else? After interesting change is that players spawn with another interesting change is that players spawn with level zero evil armor. If you get in gunfights right away and do enough damage, you will automatically level it up to white and you can continue to take it all the way to red. Wow, so we landed off the rip with Technically armor, no armor. I'm, I'm loving it. This is awesome. Um, what else? The last big difference is that all armor is coming down by 25 health. That means players with purple and gold armor have 175 health, not 200. Rare armor gets you to 200 health, and you can no longer get to 225. Thank freaking God, because Gibby was what 275, almost 300 HP. Um, but I still feel like that's a cop out. Instead of nerfing Gibby, they nerf everybody else. I still feel like that's a cop out. But the new damage requirements are damage to white, 50, damage to blue, 125, damage to purple, 250, damage to red, 500. So pretty much like two bodies, you should be almost pretty much red at this point. So I'm 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 loving that. Uh, I'm probably gonna have a lot of high kill games. Not off the rip because you know every time the sweats come back when the season starts. So uh, maybe next week I have a lot of high kill games. Hollow sprays are a new way to emote in the arena. By using the emote wheel, you can throw down these legend specific calling cards to taunt best of enemies or warn future challenges that you're not. Okay. Now, what they should do with this, 
they should allow us to customize these. Now, granted, you have to stop people from drawing penises and stuff because that's what they did with the minigun uh, paintball thing. But if you can let us customize these and, you know, find a way to censor out the bad words, this would be a beautiful, fantastic addition to the game. Um, come to Battle Pass. This season Battle Pass includes the reactive G7 uh, Supersonic skin that's AKA modded by my girl Ramper. You got the Bloodhound um, skin and some new skydive emotion weapon charms. But y'all already know what time it is. I got y'all that video tomorrow morning. So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and drop a like and follow me over on Twitch because I will get you that Battle Pass video tomorrow morning. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, Quest. Follow the story from the season five quest nine full color illustrated comics. Collect church pet data to earn your rewards, include crowd material channeling. Mm, who cares? But oh, they give you new gun charms. Now I am excited. They getting it in full color and illustrated comics. Now this that's what this should have been initially. And it should have had the voice lines from the voice actors. But hey, it is what it is. Um, I'm probably gonna go read through it just to see how it is in um that color. All right, legends. This is great. This is fantastic because this is what we wanted to see. Um, this patch, we're taking a look at the recon class, a class built around information gathering should be powerful in a battle royale where knowing where the enemy is often the difference between life and death. But out of the three legends in the recon class, Pathfinder, Crypto, and Bloodhound, one dominates in terms of in-game performance is the robot. The robot dominates and holds. I'm, I'm not going to let y'all, y'all lie. That's a lie. That is, that is cap. Full blown cap. The robot is trash now because his grapple takes 35 seconds to free. I can load my PC up, shut my PC down, load my PC up, shut my PC down, load it up, shut it down, load it up. Go get some freaking water out the fridge before I get my grapple back. Now, that's not right, bro. <laughs> but let me finish because I hope you guys, I really hope you guys fixed it. All right, let's keep going. In this patch, we're mostly buffing Bloodhound as they need the help. Bl Bloodhound. The dude that can scan the whole town. Bloodhound. <laughs> he needs the help. Bloodhound. Wow. 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 Stop it. All right. Anyway, crypto chains are a missed bag. And we also found one bug. We had to fix that was giving crypto a hidden advantage. Um, between the um, buffs to Bloodhound Oh, and the new utility crypto gains on his drone. Okay. Let's, now let's just read it because right now they already pissed me off. That just first round. I feel like it's a bunch of B crap. All right. All Rikion Legends, Bloodhound Crypto Pathfinder can now use survey beings to get the next ring location. Crypto can use his drone to instantly get this information. Okay. That's fair. I, I personally don't like it because what you're going to do to Pathfinder. But let's get right into it. Let's see what they gave Pathfinder. Um, Since everybody can use his. Oh, God. Bloodhound should not be able to use that, bro. Oh, God. Ah. Oh. Anyways, Pathfinder. Given our recon legends, I said the server beacon makes Pathfinder less unique. Yes. And obviously, we don't love that. For now, we're giving our friendly robot a small buff to his ultimate cooldown when he used a survey beacon. But in the future, we will take another look at Pathfinder and see what else we could do to make. Give him back his grapple. Each passive. Each time Pathfinder scans a survey beacon, the total cooldown zipline cool is reduced. It doesn't matter. The zipline isn't even that long. Numbers zipline cooldown reduced by 10 seconds each time. Pepper is gonna beacon up to six rings per game, meaning the total is <laughs> god, bro. I, 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 th I, th I thought you couldn't make the robot any more worse, but like, god, my god, like, you, you guys clearly don't love the robot at all. Okay, let's keep going. Bloodhound Bloodhound fulfills a very clear role in Apex Legends. They're the information gatherer and tracker, but currently their performance leave a lot to be desired. Who is writing this? Oh, oh God, I had to stop cursing. I don't want, I don't, I don't want to. Who is writing this stuff? Who, who is collecting this data, bro? Y'all got me rambling for 12 minutes. Let me hurry up and get off this thing, bro. Y'all pissing me off, bro. Bloodhound is one of the most used characters probably by now. We want to double down on their ultimate, being their big moment of becoming a godlike tracker. Bloodhound already gives us some information in me when they scan or use the ultimate, it makes a noticeable sound. So we think there's room for a lot more power to the ultimate. Reset Hunt now gives you more duration when Bloodhound scores a knockdown or kill with the ultimate about to run out. Eye of the, Eye of the All Father. During Beast of the Hunt, Eye of the All Father now comes out twice as fast as a much. God, bro. 
God, bro. Like, y'all just hate the robot and just keep buffing Bloodhound. Like, Bloodhound already ain't decent. If you can't use Bloodhound and you just started playing Apex Legends, I'm sorry. You're trash. I'm sorry, bro. Like, I'm I'm very frustrated right now because, my God, bro, the, the, the robot takes the most skill to use. And you nerfing him to the ground, bro. Wow. God, whatever. I don't even care about the times, bro. Y'all see this. Y'all y'all can read, bro. Uh, Crypto. Crypto is a particularly interesting recon character. The amount of information she can gather for his team with his drone is very high. But the fact that he has to switch over to his drone leaves him vulnerable. Yes. Okay, whatever. Surveillance drone. Crypto cannot activate respawn and survey beacons from his drone. Look at this. Somebody come and look at this. Look at this. Oh, wait, hold up. Crypto can now use respawn beacons. And survey beacons from his drone. And it's instant. <laughs> I'm about to be a crypto main. What are you talking? What a what <laughs> MP will now slow teammates caught in the blast, even if they had no shields. This means that players who have used Revenant Delta will also be slowed. I guess that's a nice one, but golly, instant, bro. Death totem for two seconds after being recalled by the death totem players cannot use Wraith dimensional rift. Thank you. Two seconds not enough, but it's 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 doable. It's 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 doable. It's doable. Octane stem can now use stem while healing, but stem will not remove the slow you incur from healing. So how this is gonna work? So you can stem while healing, but stem will not remove the slow you incur from healing. Interesting. We'll see how this works. Loba. Loba was initially very popular. She began struggling to keep up more recently, so we're tossing her a little buff. Oh, gosh, I can't freaking talk today. Long story short, black market cooled down from three minutes to 90 seconds. Uh, but that's a good that's a good change, respawn. I'm glad to see that. Gibraltar defensive increase cool down from three minutes to four point five. Yes. 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 And yes. Bangalore rolling down decrease cool down from four point five minutes to three minutes. Uh, okay, it's, her, it's, like, it's not like her ultimate do that much damage anyway. Watson interception pile on the trophy system will now shoot down caustic barrels in flight if they would have landed inside the range. Yes! Oh my god, thank you. Loop. They added the energy mass back. They brought back turbo charges. Update. Precision choke. Move precision choke from loop pool, but it will now be integrated into the triple tech and peacekeeper by default. Fire select toggles on and off the choke. Okay, okay. I like that. I like that. In supply drop, R99, damage increased from 11 to 12, increased magazine size to 32. Ammo reserve, 160. Oh, man. They don't want nobody to use the 99. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'm still going to get it. I'm still going to use it. 32, that's OD, bro. That's That sucks, though. You can't. It only has 160. You got to up it, bro. Like, 240, bro. Come on, man. You got to up that. Um, out of supply drop. The Devo is back. Clip side reduced back to original values. 36, 40, 44, 48. I like that. I like that. I like that. Oh my god. Fully kitted weapons. Let's go. They removed all these trash gold guns from season five. On angle lot. The RE45 smack. The Eva 8 smack. The Hemlock smack. The Spitfire and DMR. Eh. Now they added the devotion, the massive, the trip. Nobody cares about the triple take, bro, because you're going to put that digi thread on it. Nobody like that. But the massive would be dope to see. The devotion would be dope to see. I mean, not the massive. The devotion would be dope to see. The flatline and the vote. I'm excited to get that vote gold. Um, honestly, I don't really have nothing to complain about besides Pathfinder. Besides that, hey, season six like, is going to be great and it's going to be very entertaining. With, like, this meta change has is drastic. And I'm, I'm here for it and I'm excited. Uh, but yeah, please stop, stop, stop what you're doing to Pathfinder. Stop nerfing him. Stop just, just revert him back to season one, two, three, and uh, yeah, we're good. <laughs> I know it's not gonna happen. But anyways, if you guys made this far in the video, man, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe to the channel for more Apex Legends content, and uh, go follow me over on Twitch. I will be doing a giveaway um of a battle pass on this video so don't forget comment down below and i'll be doing a giveaway over on twitch and i will be live streaming season six at 10 p.m pacific standard time so don't be late don't be late you want you want to get your chance on the battle pass and uh yeah don't forget subscribe and i love you guys and i'll see you guys on the next video peace pass me the baton at the track me i gotta keep my pace i can't fall back and let them let me